Good morning class. Today I wanted to complete a practice problem with you using the law of conservation of momentum. So I have the problem written down for you. What I'm going to do is read the problem. As I read the problem I'm going to underline important information. I'm going to generate a column of knowns and unknowns. I'm going to draw two diagrams and then we're going to use the law of conservation of momentum to solve the problem. So here we go. A 41 gram bullet strikes a 5.2 kilogram stationary piece of lumber and embeds itself in the wood. The piece of lumber and bullet fly off together at 3.6 meters per second. Calculate the original velocity of the bullet. Now, in the book, they when they list the equation for the law of conservation of momentum, they use the variable m sub a and m sub b. And for the velocity, the initial velocity of a is vi sub a and then v sub i sub b. But what I want to do is be a little bit more specific and assign different labels to the variables. So for mass of object a, let's say that this is mass of the bullet. Okay? The mass of the bullet is given to us in the problem at 41 grams, but in the metric system, the standard unit for mass is kilograms. So we know that there are 1,000 grams in every kilogram. So our mass of the bullet is 0 0.041 kilograms. Mass B, this is going to be the mass of the lumber. So I want to be more specific and say M sub lumber. This is 5.2 kilograms, okay? We do not know the initial velocity of object A, which is the bullet, so this is going to be VI sub bullet. I'm just going to put a question mark there right now because this is our unknown. The initial velocity of object B, so the initial velocity of the lumber, it says that it's stationary, so zero meters per second. The final velocity of the bullet and the lumber are the same because the bullet embeds itself in the piece of lumber and they fly off together at 3.6 meters per second. So the final velocity of the bullet, 3.6 meters per second. The final velocity of the lumber, 3.6 meters per second, okay? Now, let's draw some cell diagrams. So we have a before situation where we have the bullet with an initial velocity. We don't know what it is, okay? We know mass of the bullet is 0 0.041. And we have a stationary piece of lumber. Mass of the lumber is 5.2 kilograms, and the initial velocity of the lumber is equal to zero meters per second, okay? Now, let's draw a diagram to represent the situation after the collision, okay? So, we have our piece of lumber and our bullet, and the final velocity is 3.6 meters per second, okay? Now, according to the law of conservation of momentum, in a closed and isolated system, it tells us that the momentum is conserved. So, if we were going to apply the law of conservation of momentum to our situation, that's going to tell us that the momentum for the system before the collision is going to equal the momentum of the system after the collision, okay? So we can say sigma sub pi equals sigma sub pf. So our Greek letter sigma here means sum of, so the sum of the initial momentums are going to equal the sum of our final momentums. So I'm going to expand both sides of the equal sign here. So this is going to say the initial momentum for the bullet 
plus the initial momentum for the lumber is equal to the final momentum of the bullet plus the final momentum of the lumber. And so in this step here, instead of writing out the word bullet and lumber each time, I'm going to use a subscript of B to represent the bullet and a subscript of L to represent the piece of lumber, okay? Now, we know that the momentum for an object is the product of its mass and its velocity. So, the mass of the bullet multiplied by the initial velocity of the bullet plus the mass of the lumber multiplied by the initial velocity of the lumber is going to equal the mass of the bullet times the final velocity of the bullet plus the mass of the lumber times the final velocity of the lumber. Okay? Now, the problem tells us that the piece of lumber is stationary initially. So, the initial velocity of the lumber is zero. So, we can immediately get rid of this, okay? Because this is going to go to zero, all right? Now, I want to focus on the right-hand side of the equal sign, okay? So, right here, since the final velocity of the lumber and the bullet are the same, what we can do is factor that velocity out. Okay, so it's going to look like this. When I factor final velocity out, I can write this as the final velocity multiplied by the mass of the bullet plus the mass of the lumber. Okay? Now our unknown is the initial velocity of the bullet. We know the mass of the bullet, so all we have to do to isolate our unknown is divide by the mass of the bullet on both sides of the equal sign, okay? So, mass of the bullet. So that's what our initial velocity of the bullet is going to look like right here, okay? So I'm going to erase some of this. We're going to plug in some values. Let's go ahead and get out our calculator. Okay? So, our final velocity, remember that the bullet and piece of lumber, they fly off together at 3.6 meters per second. And we're going to multiply by the mass of the bullet, which is 0 0.041 kilograms, plus mass of the lumber, 5.2 kilograms. And we're dividing by the mass of the bullet, which is 0 0.041 kilograms, okay? So, on our calculator, 5.2 plus 0 0.041 kilograms is 5.241 kilograms. And let's multiply that by 3.6 meters per second. So in my numerator, I get 18.8676. In my units, I have meters per second times units of kilograms. So this is going to give me kilogram meters per second, and I'm going to divide by the mass of the bullet. So divided by 0 0.041. So the initial velocity of my bullet, let's talk about the numerical value first. This is going to be 460.19. Now let's talk about our unit value. So in my numerator, I have units of kilogram meters per second. In my denominator, I have units of kilograms. And algebraically, we can write that as kilograms over one. Now remember that whenever we divide fractions, it's like multiplying by the inverse of the denominator. So what I have here is kilogram meters per second times one over kilograms. The kilograms are going to cancel leaving us with units of meters per second. And we know that this is correct for velocity. 
because the standard unit in the metric system for velocity is meters per second. So, meters per second. All right, so I have posted this bullet and lumber problem on Canvas. Uh, this is our final answer. Uh, if you have any questions, please send me an email and I will help you. And I've also posted some notes over collisions, the two types of collisions, momentum, and the law of conservation of momentum. So if you have any questions about any of the material that I have posted, let me know. Send me an email and, and I will help you out. Have a wonderful day.